Welcome to Dino Park Tycoon, where you run the biggest business in town. In case you aren't familiar with how to build your own dinosaur park, let me give you a quick tour to get you started. If you want to quit this tour, press the A button on your controller at any time. The main part of town consists of the mall. You can enter any of the stores that are open by moving the cursor that little arrow in the middle of the screen over the store by using the control pad on your controller. When you are moving over anything that is important, the cursor will become a hand, like so. If you want to use the object your cursor is over, press the A button on your controller and then release it. If you want information about the object, hold the C button down, like this. The number on the lower left of the screen is your bank balance, which tells you how much you can spend on park items. It's blinking because the clock isn't ticking right now and won't start until you visit the park for the first time. The small squares towards the middle on the bottom are buttons that perform different functions that I'll cover later. Right now, the only store that's open is the real estate office. And that dapper little dinosaur, waving its arms at you, is letting you know what you should probably do next. So I'll press my A button and take you inside. Before you can start building your park, you need to decide what kind of land you'll be building on. Each land type has advantages and disadvantages and how many people will show up, what kind of plants will grow there, and how much it will cost. Look on the big dollar bill at the top of your screen to see your bank balance. To pick a land type, move the cursor over the box, press the A button, then press on the Buy button over here. This takes you to the blueprint, where you can buy up to 10 plots of land each of which can contain one dinosaur pin. To buy a plot of land, press on it like so. If you decide you don't want the land, choose it again and it will be up for sale. When you have made your choices, press the OK button, which is this thumbs up button here. Back you go to the mall where your dinosaur friend is telling you to go to the store so that you can get some fencing for your dinosaur pin. Without fencing, the dinosaurs that you'll be putting in your park could escape, leaving you with nothing but some trampled cars and a lot of angry tourists. Some shops, as well as the front office, have books in them. To turn to a page, Press on a tab like this. You can also use the left and right buttons on the top of the controller to turn the page like this. 
For now, you'll buy wood fence. Choose the fence picture. Then press on the buy button down here. Here's the blueprint again, with the land that you've bought outlined in white. Choose the land to place a fence on, then press on OK to return to the store. Other items for sale in this store include food and gift stands to generate additional revenue, public restrooms, parking lots to fit more people in the park, and advertising to generate more interest in your budding enterprise. And don't forget, every time you spend $10,000 or more at the store, you get a new decoration for your park. Next, you're going to need some people to run this place. Without employees, no one can collect money for tickets or feed the dinosaurs. Come on, it's time to increase the workforce in your park. There are six positions for hire in the dinosaur park. Each has a special function in the business, and each gets a monthly salary that's paid in four one-week paychecks. To see how many of each position are working in your park, press the A button over the note with the word staff written on it and continue holding the button down to keep the information on screen. For now, hire a maintenance person to keep the park in good running order. To hire or fire an employee, use these buttons. To move to a different employee, press on the name or just use the left and right buttons to move up and down the list. If you decide you want to cancel your changes in the employment roster, press on the cancel button here. Otherwise, when your choices are made, press OK to go back to the first screen. Then press OK again to go back to the mall. Something tells me that this just wouldn't be a dinosaur park without any dinosaurs in it. So you'd better pay a visit to Dino City, the most well-stocked dinosaur retail outlet in these parts. You can choose from 20 dinosaurs in Dino City, ranging from the man-sized Hypsilophodon to the house-sized Diplodocus. Move through the store by moving the cursor to the left or right sides of the screen, or by using the left and right buttons on the top of the controller. To get information, choose the dinosaur you are interested in, then press on the question mark button at the bottom. When you've finished viewing the dinosaur information, press the OK button to go back to the store. To buy the dinosaur, press on the Buy button. Yes, you're back at the blueprint one more time. You'll notice a dinosaur icon in the lower left of the screen. This is the dinosaur holding area. Choosing a pen will move the dinosaur from the holding area into the pen. If you change your mind, click on the pen again and the dinosaur will be placed back in the holding area. Later, as you get more pens and more dinosaurs, you can use this feature to rearrange the dinosaur placement by moving a dinosaur from one pen into the holding area, then placing it somewhere else. Notice that you can press the cancel button below if you decide you don't want the dinosaur after all. Otherwise, Pressing the OK button when the dinosaur is in its pen will bring us back to the store, and pressing it again will bring us back to the mall. Hungry dinosaurs are not happy dinosaurs, so you need to pay a visit to the Dino Diner. Once again, the left and right buttons on the controller are used to flip pages. You can buy meat for the carnivores, 
plants for the herbivores, and seeds to grow more plants. For now, just get some meat for our little carnivore. You'll notice that there are three types of meat you can get. All meat and plants come in equal sized units, but the lower cost meat may not appeal to your dinosaurs, and they could escape, and the lower cost plants die off much quicker than the more expensive ones. To buy some food, choose its picture and press on the arrows that appear next to it. To buy larger quantities, hold down the A button. When finished with your purchases, press the OK button. The last store is the front office. Here is where you can find out how the park is running and take care of business. Inside your office, you can check on profits, dinosaurs on hand, staff shortages, gift sales, food sales, dinosaur food supplies, and ticket sales. You can also bone up on your dinosaur facts, pay a visit to the bank to borrow or pay off loans, and sell your business to end your game. If you feel like getting some more in-depth information, check out the general ledger. Here you can put dinosaurs up for auction, check your ticket sales, and change your ticket prices. Check your food sales. Check your gift sales. See how many people you have on your staff. And check your overall profit and loss for the year. You can also check on how your park is laid out. When you're done, press the OK button to leave the office. If you ever have any pricing questions and don't want to visit each individual store to find out how much everything is, you can take a quick glance at the window shopping area by choosing the shopping cart over here. Here you can check the prices for each store, as well as some statistics you may want to keep in mind concerning the park. The left and right buttons on top of your controller will move the screen to the left or right. Now see what kind of park you've created. Press on the dinosaur button here to take a look. Once again, the left and right buttons at the top of your controller move you to the left and right. Here you can see the dinosaurs in action, as well as the people who come to see them. If lots of people leave the park, that could be telling you that something is wrong. But for now, you can enjoy the view and rest assured that you've created a park for all to enjoy. That's all you need to know to get yourself started. I've given you what you need to build a successful park. Now it's up to you to make it happen.
Dinonychus means terrible claw, and it seems to have been one of the more deadly dinosaurs roaming the United States and possibly in parts of Asia. The word Coelophysis refers to the hollow form of this dinosaur's bones, which may have enabled it to run rather quickly over parts of the United States. Reaching lengths of 10 feet and a weight of more than 60 pounds, these smaller dinosaurs would eat anything they could get their claws on, including members of their own species. The Corythosaurus, or helmet lizard, had a hollow, narrow crest attached to the top of its head. This dinosaur ate all sorts of plant material, including twigs and... Deinonychus means terrible claw, and one of the largest animals ever to walk the earth. The word Coelophysis refers to the hollow form
Visitors are complaining about the lack of tour guides. There is no place on your land to place this dinosaur. End of winter quarter. You may not have enough money to pay your bills at the end of the month. Go to the bank if you need a loan. End of spring quarter. Due to lack of payment, one of your employees has quit. You may not have enough money to pay your bills at the end of the month. Go to the bank if you need a loan. Due to lack of payment, one of your employees has quit. Visitors are complaining about the lack of tour guides. You may not have enough money to pay your bills at the end of the month. Go to the bank if you need a loan.
End of Summer Quarter Your dinosaurs are going hungry. Buy food at the Dino Diner. Tour guides will increase the park revenue. End of year. Make any changes for first quarter now. Clock is stopped and will resume when you leave the office. Tour guides will increase the park revenue. Your dinosaurs are going hungry. Buy food at the Dino Diner. Due to lack of payment, one of your employees has quit. You may not have enough money to pay your bills at the end of the month. Go to the bank if you need a loan. Due to lack of payment, one of your employees has quit. Remember, visitors don't come as often when the dinosaurs are upset from not being fed. Phew. <sighs>